All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Juice. And um, <clears throat> if you're here to learn more about the Matrix or if you know about the Matrix, um, that's what I post on this channel um, about that topic or subject, the Matrix. I also post uh, things regarding just positivity, uplifting the mind, keep, you know, us or myself included, of course, in a very high vibration and not the opposite. I post about these things on, on this channel. So if you're into that, um, please be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification. If you're brand new here, those two things, uh, subscribe, bell notification. If you're returning back, thank you for being here, everyone. And let's with, um, start with this video. You read the title, obviously. I want to talk about two different content creators, YouTubers on this channel. Once again, you already read the title, so you already know who I'm going to talk about. But I want to get more into, you know, the fact is what makes the two different? What makes a spiritual soul different from a, a Shane Dawson, right? What makes What's the difference between them both? There's a lot of di differences, of course. They look different. They're different race, everything, right? But what I mean by difference is as far as them being content creators. Because a lot of, they both spoke, speak about conspiracy theories. You know, the earth being flat, stationary. A lot of them talk about these topics a lot in their channel, you know? But the difference, but what, what I seem to start noticing is a lot of people are becoming woke, right? And I think this year, a lot more people will become woke and they're looking for information on YouTube or just online itself. A lot of time it's going to be YouTube, which is the one of the biggest search, search engines on earth. If not Google, number one, YouTube is second, but Google, Google owns YouTube. So they own right there, number one. So people are looking for these, this information on YouTube and when you're looking for, you know, terms like or keywords like woke or conspiracy theory, the first person they end up, uh, well, the the first people that ends up being on the first page after you put in those 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 keywords or search search terms is going to be a Shane Dawson, and I'll, I'll explain why. He has over 20 million followers. He has a huge following, right? He's been doing YouTube for at least over 10 years, something like that, right? He's a, he's like an, a, a real OG of YouTube, right? And spiritual, so it's the opposite. He's been doing it for years, of course. Um, but, you know, Shane has, Shane's been here for longer than a spiritual soul. But they both speak about the same thing, Right? And when, again, when people are looking for these search terms, keywords, conspiracy theories or theory or woke, the first person you are presented with is Shane Dawson to speak about these, you know, about these, uh, whatever you're looking for in regards of conspiracy theory or woke. And the reason why I think he's first, you may say, well, Juice, it's because he has over 20 million followers and he has a larger, you know, fan base, engagement, blah, blah, blah. That may be true, but I question everything. When once when, when something becomes so trendy and popular and you know, something like woke is becoming so well, it is popular. Being woke is very popular. Conspiracy theory, same thing. And but whenever it's being pushed heavily, is when I start to question it. That was Cleo. I start questioning it. So I, I question this more once I start to notice who's now the face of being woke or conspiracy theory. And that's what I always focus on first. Who are the faces to represent these cultures? And the face of conspiracy theory or being woke is a Shane Dawson. He's he's the first person you will get get or be presented with. To speak about these subjects that you're looking for, not a spiritual soul. Okay, he's nowhere to be found when you put in conspiracy theory, woke, nothing to that nature. You know, even high vibrations, low state, how to just be mentally there and just do good for yourself. He's nowhere to be found. You'll see all that from a Shane Dawson first. 
And I think it's because that's how YouTube is trying to control the narrative on how you consume this information and who's it coming from. Now, Shane Dawson is a celebrity. He's rich. You know, like he's where a lot of people wish they were, which wish they were in their lives, rich and famous. Spiritual soul, uh, uh, he's, he's, he's a celebrity, but not like a Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson is like, he's, he's, he's a big deal, right? No. If you type in his name, he's on like websites, websites like, um, Wikipedia, it speaks about, it really shows him as a, this, this celebrity figure and not a spiritual soul, right? And that's when I saw a question what's going on. So they want, again, Shane Dawson to be the face of these terms. He's also gay. So to me, it's almost like I'm, I'm, I'm not against, you know, gays, whatever. But it's almost like that's what they're trying to promote. You know, if you are gay, then you get more shine. For example, the hottest song last year was Old Time, Old, Old Town Road from Lil Nas X. Right? Big song last year. He's also gay. So it's like if you're if you're gay, if you're a lesbian, if you're promoting you know violence also. I'm not saying being gay is you know violent, but if you're promoting these things, you know, being gay, lesbian, if you're most like most rappers talk about a lot of violence or you know, just bad things on their songs, you know, using drugs, these things are pushed in our faces heavy. And whoever talks about these things are going to be the face. And these rappers are the face when it comes to drug use and, you know, popping, you know, Molly and Xanax. And, you know, you're just, you're, you're, you're the face to these terms now. So it's like you're trying to push this agenda to be like these people because they're all rich and famous. So if I talk about these things or adopt their lifestyle, I will become famous like them one day because it's cool. It's accepting. It is very accepting doing drugs. It's always have been, first of all. And that's what's being promoted to you. You are cool. You're part of pop culture if you represent these things. You know? So that's what's going on. Like the the the, the face of being woke and conspiracy theory is not other YouTubers like spiritual. So other YouTubers like Newbreed, myself, even though we are, even though we're smaller channels than Shane Dawson. We all talk about almost the same thing. So if you if YouTube really wants to promote this this term, then put everyone inside the same page because we're all talking about the same exact thing, but that's not happening. A lot of YouTubers who talk about the same thing Sean, Shane Dawson talks about, their, their, their channels have been flagged, if not terminated, you know? And it's, it's the same topic, the same information what he's saying, uh, Shane Dawson. So to me, that's... You know, YouTube, whoever, whoever owns YouTube, the elite are trying to control how you see life by choosing certain faces or figures, figures to speak about what you're looking for. You know what I mean? I hope that makes a lot of sense because I really do see it to me. That's to me the difference between a, a spiritual soul and a Shane Dawson, right? It, it really is. It seems like that because a spiritual soul is completely different from a Shane Dawson, but they talk about the same thing and you don't see a spiritual soul videos at all when it comes to you putting in conspiracy theory, woke, high vibration, you know, meditating. You you can't find it, but he has millions of followers too. So this is some this is where you should really pay attention and question everything you encounter, like I said before on, on other you know videos on this channel. Question everyone, even me. Question my channel. Everyone, you have to question every single body. Because being woke is not a trendy thing. It's becoming so... It's, it is popular to be woke. A lot of YouTubers are, have gained success from talking about these things. You know? So it's like, again, if you want to see success, talk about being woke. Talk about conspiracy theories. Talk about meditating and you know all these things. And you'll, 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 be, you'll have more followers. But who gets the most shine? Like, follow the money. You know, who, who gets the most shine? It's certain certain faces are being promoted or placed as the, the face of this term. So now, again, you want to be like that person. You may want to adopt their lifestyle. And that's what they're trying to push. You know, 
talk about drugs, talk about violence, be gay, be lesbian, you know, this is cool to do, this is accepting, this is what you need to be part of, you know, not everyone else who are the opposite of these things, because a spiritual soul doesn't talk about, you know, violence, or, you know, just bad stuff, you know, drama, popping zannies, and, you know, he doesn't talk about that on his videos, a lot of these YouTubers, my, myself included, don't are the opposite of what's being promoted, or what's being so accepting and fun and part of pop pop culture we don't talk about these things at all so we can't be the face for it you know it yo like i said this year a lot of people are going to be woke they're 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 learning this information from shane dawson about the earth being stationary and being you know um flat right so now they're looking for these terms and certain faces when they look for these terms on youtube are going to it will be it will be presented to you, and they'll talk about what you're looking for. But question: Who is giving you the information? Their their lifestyle, everything. Even Shane Dawson has a makeup line called Conspiracy. It's a makeup line that he he has out. It's called Conspiracy. You know, so when you're looking for that that term, he's one of the first to be. He's the first face on that term. And what's crazy is his. His logo for his makeup is a triangle. You know, triangles are always pushed in media. It's, it's three sides, right? The, the, the number three, six, and nine are always, always in our faces. I've done a video about this as well. Those numbers are all those numbers are always, always shoved in your face. Three, six, nine. And that's the logo he chose. Maybe it's a smart, you know, um, marketing thing they're doing let me choose it's just it's genius let me choose conspiracy since conspiracy is so popular right now and trendy i'm first to be seen you know it's it's a genius strategy but at the same time that's when you have to question <laughs> you have to question what's going on question everything in a subtle way they're trying to tell you to be like him follow his lifestyle you know adopt what he's doing and you'll be you'll be Famous like him one day. That, that makes any sense. Right? So, yeah, that's to me the difference between uh, a spiritual soul and a Shane Dawson. You know, Shane Dawson is the face of woke conspiracy theory. He's the face of that. Something to, to think about. I could always be wrong. I'm not correct on a lot of things, but it's just my opinion. Because I question everything that comes my way. It's not even funny. So, hope you do the same thing. Question everything. It's a very responsible thing to do. To question everything before you just consume it. Not not be, not consuming it, but adopt the idea. Because you you consumed it from a face who seems to be positive. Question who they are. Question what's their real agenda. Question why they're always the first people to be presenting you this, this information and not other people who talk about the same exact thing but get no kind of shine at all. And they have sometimes have millions of followers themselves, but they're being, it's like, it's like they're being buried or hidden. And again, YouTube chose certain people to be the face of this uh, trend or culture. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be back with another one. You guys stay, stay safe out there. I'm out of here. Peace.